In this one, I wanna show you how to set up a new Squarespace on mobile phones. So iPhone, Android, it's the same app. Let's get Squarespace open and we can get started. And actually Squarespace offer a free trial for 14 days. So you can go in, set up all of your website, see if it's right for you and see if Squarespace is gonna be something that you wanna go ahead and pay for. So when you do press get started, it takes you straight through to some templates and Squarespace is going to help you build a website that is good for mobile and also PC, Mac. So you can just scroll down through all of the different templates and let's go up to the top just to make it easy. You can preview all of them by clicking on that option preview. So I can do that and it takes me through to what is what the template looks like. In the top right hand corner, you can see the options so desktop, tablet, and mobile. I'm gonna click on the mobile option. So this is what the website actually looks like when you're looking at it on mobile. You can press anywhere within the template and you can scroll down the website just as if you were looking at it on mobile. If you wanna know what it looks like on tablet, click that option and it will just change it for you. Again, within that bar, you can just scroll down and up to see what it will actually look like. You can also go through to view a demo site or you can just start with this design. If you want to maybe go back and look at some other designs, click on that option. It will take you back through to this page. Then let's just see another one. So we're going to preview Paloma. It's gonna take us through to that same option. This is tablet, this is desktop, and this is mobile. You can scroll down to see what it will actually look like. As you can see, the top has a very big picture to start off with as you scroll down some other options. I actually like the first one more, so I'm gonna go back, scroll up to the top, and then just click Start with Baylard. So I'm gonna click on that, and it will take me through to the next option. You do have to create an account. If you have one already, you can choose Login in the top right-hand corner. You can continue with all of your other accounts. There is also a tab for more options that will let you put your email address in here. Continue with email. Put my details in here, including my email address, a password and everything that I wanna use with Squarespace and I'll see you in the app. Once you are in the Squarespace homepage, this is really the back end that you can then go and edit your website. So there's a lot really to look at. I'll try and make it as simple as possible. Firstly, down at the bottom it says home, then it has some random jumble of words and letters. Because we are in the free trial right now, this is the random URL web address that we are using for our website. If you upgrade and go to the paid version, you can change that to a more catchy name, either your name or your brand. We won't get into that today though. If you press on the up arrow, this takes you into your homepage. This is your website that you are looking at and it is very easy to edit everything. You can also press down out of that. It will take you back to the homepage. And as you can see, it says get started. You can also click on this to edit your website, so if we click on edit homepage, takes us through to exactly the same page. On Squarespace, everything is put together using boxes. The blue box that you can see here right now is the top box. As I scroll down and click on this box, it will also be highlighted in blue. You can edit that. This box is simply a text box, so if I click on it once more, it will go through to the text editor. I can change the way that the text is laid out just like you would in Microsoft Word. You can highlight everything. You can delete it using your keyboard. You can put in some text that is unique to you. It's very simple like that. Just scroll down away from the text box, click somewhere on the screen that isn't in the box, then scroll back up. And as you can see, the edit has taken place. Absolutely everything is done with boxes. So as I scroll down the screen, you can see the boxes are here. You can edit them just by clicking on them. I'm editing the text now, or if I click on the image, I can also edit the image. I can remove it or replace it very easily. So remove, for example, and then it is not there now. It's just a blank space. If I press away from that box and keep moving down, it's just more boxes. To make this really simple as well, if I just delete all of the boxes, so delete and confirm, then scroll up, press on the box, delete and confirm. You will see that the entire website is just simply a collection of boxes 
that are stacked one on top of each other. If you want to move a box, that's really easy. You just have to select it. So make sure that the blue box is highlighted. Then you can press the arrows down at the bottom. I can't move this down because this is at the very bottom, but I can move it up above the top box. As you can see now, it is at the top of the site above that other box. I can press the down arrow and move it down below that. So that is really how to move them around. And if you want to add a box, just press the blue plus button and it will take you through to a load of different types of boxes that you can add to the site. I will not go through every single one, but just to give you a short example, you can add a gallery and then there are different options in terms of the layout. So this is basically just four pictures. I quite like that. So just click anywhere on that box and it will be added where you pressed the blue plus icon. This can also be edited. Right now, there are just some placeholder images in there. If you want to add your own images and some personalization, you can press the picture icon down at the bottom and then it will go through to let you add some pictures. Press the plus button and you can go into your photo library, put some of your personal images there. I'm just gonna put a selfie of myself in there for now to show you. A picture of myself has been added in there. There are now five, so none were deleted or replaced, just the picture of me added. If you want to edit the amount of images there, press edit. The delete icon will come up. I just want to delete one of them to make it four images. So it looks a bit better. I'm gonna press done on that one. If you wanna swipe any of these boxes away, just press and hold at the top of that options box, swipe it down and it won't be there anymore. So I've added this gallery box and I've added some personalized photos in there as well. This can be done for all four of the images if you want. So it makes a really personalized site for you. If you wanna rearrange the box, then press the arrow to move it down or up. Or if you don't like it, you can of course delete the entire box, confirm, and it will just be taken away from your website. Something else really cool if you press the blue plus button again is adding video to your website. That's really cool. You can press the video option, then press the box that you want to add to your website. It is now there for you. You can of course edit the text to anything you want to make it very personal to you. And you can also import videos. The way that you do this is by pressing the video down at the bottom, you can just simply link to videos that you've uploaded to other video sites. As you can see, YouTube, Vimeo are all on there. All you have to do is put the URL of the video that you uploaded on those websites in here, and it will link to that video. People can play the video directly on your website. You can also add captions and custom thumbnails. Caption is just a short text description of the video. You can turn that on and then you can edit the text caption down below as you would with any other text. I don't want to do that though, so I'm just gonna click off the show caption, click back into the video options, and then swipe the video option down. As you can see, I added the video box. You can change this to absolutely anything you want, of course, as it's personal to you. If you're a business user, there are some really good presets as well. If you press the plus as well, you can maybe go to a menu or pricing. So if I click on pricing, then you can add different options. Click that, for example, that box will be entered into the site. Anytime you want to edit text, just click on the text and then you can edit it exactly as you want. And obviously you can use all of the boxes together. So you can import some images, import some videos, then maybe have some payment options. You can just add each box above and below other boxes, move them around using the arrows as you see fit. If you're done with editing, then you can press the done option. You can discard all of the changes that you made. Maybe you want to save the options. I'm gonna save those changes for now. If I want to edit again, I can go and press the edit button and it will just take me straight back to editing. You can press done. You can also press the three dots in the right hand corner and there will be some extra settings that you can go and change. Site styles is the site-wide styles. So you're not changing boxes right now, you are changing everything on the site. There are lots of different options here. The most common one that most people will want to change possibly is fonts. 
This will not change the fonts for each individual box, but the entire site wide. So you can just go and have a look at some of the fonts that you may want to put on there. You can click on one of them. You can change the size of that font to anything you want. Wait a couple of seconds and the size on the page will be shown for you. You can also go into settings for that font. Lots of different options here. You can change all the headings and the paragraphs. If we just come out of there, I will go back up to the Poppins font because I believe it looks quite good. It's changed on the site and I'm gonna go back out of that style editor. There are many different options here, but you can obviously go through these and see what changes all the colors and the different buttons. If you want to slide out of there, just slide it down. Site styling is always controlled by pressing the paintbrush in the top right hand corner. Press it and the style editor comes back up. Swipe down to get rid of it again and you can always press done. I'm going to save the changes that I made. So I definitely changed the site. I have some other options on there. Changed the font a little bit. Changed the way that the boxes are set out. Anytime you want to edit, either press those three dots. You can change the site styles and page settings or if you want to edit the physical box layout, press the edit option in the top right hand corner. And I can get rid of the entire editor by pressing this arrow in the top left and I go through back to the back end of Squarespace. Something else that you might want to edit before you start is the contact page and also the create a blog. They will add more pages to your site. You can easily touch one of those. It will take you through to the forward slash contact page. So this is a different page on your website. If people press the contact us option, it will take you through to this page. You can edit this as normal simply by pressing the text and then adding in your email address. I've done that now, so I'm just gonna click off of the box. And as you can see, you can just easily change this to all of your details. There are many, many different pages that you can add. The main site that we were editing is simply the home page. If you want to go and add more pages to your website, click the pages option. So you saw that we added a contact page. There's also a readme and news, which are both demos. What we do, projects that are all demos right now. These can be added and managed. Simply press the manage icon up there. You can add or take away as you wish. So right now we have an about us page with some sub pages, for example, what we do in projects. I don't want those. So I'm gonna press delete on those. And you can see these pages will now not be here. If I want to add another page, just press the green button. You can then go through, add a blank page or maybe add a page with some different page layouts. I'm gonna click on page layouts. You can add, for example, a reviews page, click on reviews. This page will be added to your website. Maybe I will click this template. I think that looks good. I can then title the page, click on create. And I've just created a page that isn't the home page, but now it's a review page. All of these pages have a hierarchy too that you can move around. So the about section has two pages within it, contact and our reviews. You can move them around by clicking the options on the right hand side, holding it down and then dragging them around to wherever you want. If you want to then go and edit the look and feel and all of the boxes within that page, you're gonna to have to press done, then click on the page itself. This is exactly the template that we just chose you can edit this just like any other box. You just click on edit and then you can move all of the boxes around and you can add boxes, delete them, move them down, move them up, add way more options just like we did on the home page of the website. If I cancel out of there and go back to the pages options and I'm going to just save these changes for now, minimize this page of the site that I'm editing. It goes through to the pages option screen. So you can add as many different pages as you want. Something really cool is that the recycle bin actually keeps some deleted pages if you click on it. These are some of the deleted pages that we didn't want. They will be held here for 30 days. You can restore them as well if you deleted them by mistake. I think that's a pretty cool option. Moving out of there, Going through to the settings page, there are lots of different settings that you can change also. You can set up email campaigns. You can also change the search engine optimization of the site, putting in some keywords. There are lots of share buttons and even Pinterest save buttons. 
and some advanced options, for example, looking at the site availability. You can set up who exactly can access and view your site. These are all within the paid options of Squarespace though. That's too complex for this tutorial as it was really just focusing on setting up your account on Squarespace and editing the homepage and other pages. I hope it was helpful and simple enough. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.